It's pretty common for most of us to work with different types of devices throughout the day. And in this lesson, we're going to be looking at shared experiences in Windows 10. Shared experiences refers to a few technologies that help us to achieve the same purpose, sharing data between devices as easily as possible. Of course, anytime we make things easy, security can become a concern. So shared experiences may not be a good fit for some people and organizations. To see the settings on your device, open the Settings app, select System, and then Shared Experiences. Now it's possible you use more than one account on your device when you're signed in. For example, you could have a school and work account, as well as multiple accounts for email, and Windows will keep track of these accounts, and tasks like nearby sharing can limit visible devices based on the account that's used. This link lets you jump into the, your Settings app to your known accounts. In a separate lesson, we've looked at nearby sharing, which is part of what the shared experiences is all about. Now scrolling down a bit more, we have share across devices. This will let us send various types of data between devices using various apps. Now these could be other Windows 10 devices. They could even be linked Android phones at this time. Now this can really be a practical feature. Sending a web page from one device to another can help us continue a task that we started on one device, but now we need to use an application that's installed on a different device to finish up. I do use this feature a lot when I move from my phone to a computer and I want to have the same information in front of me. The My Phone app and Cortana are examples of apps that can leverage this feature. Your Android phone will need the corresponding apps installed. The Android version of My Phone Companion is an example. Now when this is enabled, it's easy to send or share a web page from Edge or from Chrome even on your phone, and then you can view the web page on your Windows 10 device. This switch is allowing the app to not just send the link over, but also it will launch the corresponding app to view the link. Now Microsoft is still actively developing this, They're looking for ways to improve the way shared experiences work. They've indicated that this is a replacement to the home group that used to exist in past versions of Windows that was used to share data between computers that were on the same network. Improved support for iOS devices and additional apps and capabilities will no doubt be coming with future updates. Now for those who do not use this or do not want these features enabled, it's easy enough to switch them off from the shared experiences switches. Or you could simply narrow down the devices that are permitted to share to your device. Select the My Devices Only, for example, to do so. In this lesson, we've looked at using shared experiences. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.